welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to see how we can create an amazing queue application uh, where we are going to feed a pdf document and at the end we are going to ask some questions and uh, using large language capabilities uh, large language models capabilities we are going to get the results or uh, answer of answer of a particular question from our uh, document which we feed right so this will be an amazing video um, before moving ahead, let me uh, clarify one thing that if you haven't watched my previous video, I will put that video link into my description uh, and also uh, there, uh, this link will be highlighted in the right corner of this video, right? So go there and just watch this video first because in that video, I have mentioned like how you can uh, create API key for using uh, Google Palm model, right? And also I have just introduced LinkedIn there as well. So you can watch that video first and now let's get started with our video so here we are going to follow this uh, notebook right so here first uh, what is LinkedIn so LinkedIn support a variety of use cases including summarization question answering sentiment analysis and more right so if you know LinkedIn that uh, it provides a lot of capabilities to work with large language models right so I will recommend to uh, use LangChain uh, with your LLM projects, right? And uh, here we are going to use Google Palm embeddings to to uh, actually create an embeddings of our text chunk, okay? Because uh, then our retrieval will be easy for us to get the data from some kind of numeric format instead of uh, from text data, right? So this is the thing which uh, Google Palm embedding does it actually creates an embedding of our text data okay so here we are importing embeddings from Google Palm embeddings okay so here we are using uh, Google Palm embedding and uh, also uh, we are using Google Palm model from Langchain.llms right and uh, then we are actually importing text splitter which is character text splitter right so we are going to actually uh, split our text into some small small chunk as i mentioned right so that's where we are going to use this and then uh, for a vector database we are going to use uh, facebook's provided open source files database okay so we are going to use that database and uh, then to load our uh, text from our pdf we are going to use pi pdf loader so this is in langchain.document loaders so we have imported that right and also to give our uh, documents and to give our an answer we are creating uh, one chain so we have to import one chain which is a load qa chain okay so then uh, let's get started so here before we move ahead you have to import some uh, libraries right so to do that we have to install this so let's install that so this is pi pdf so i'll just open my cmd i will open my cmd here and uh, you have to say pip install pi pdf right so this is already installed in my system then uh, to use a uh, files a uh, vector store you have to install this so you can do pip install files cpu okay so let's wait for this to be installed okay to get installed let's wait for that uh, so as you can see now it got installed so we will put pip install file cpu so now this will get installed in our system and then now uh, let me show you uh, so here as you can see that this is the text.pdf file in my uh, current folder okay so let me open that so this is the pdf file actually we are going to uh, give to the uh, our load qa chain right and uh, we are going to actually generate embeddings of this document and at the end we are going to ask a question uh, from this document okay so this is a large document right so this is about a chandrayaan 3 mission right so we are going to give that document so as you can see that i have given that document into this pi pdf loader okay and then actually we are uh, loading all the documents so it will uh, behind the scene it will create a document and it will uh, store this in this document right uh, 
uh, we are going to store this in this uh, variable right and then uh, we we are actually enumerating from all the documents which uh, this uh, library has generated and uh, we are going to create one uh, one string row text and all the documents uh, we are going to store that in one separate variable called row text right so all our data all our text will be the, will be in this uh, row text okay so actually we have created this row text right so now we we have our row text right so then what we are going to do we are going to actually chunk our uh, row text into some small small chunk as i mentioned right because if we'll give whole uh, whole text together then we'll get some error let's say it will be like uh, exceed token right so we have to give some uh, some specific uh, amount of uh, tokens into uh, into api for using large language model so that's why we have to create this right so this is why we are we are creating this uh, text splitter and uh, then we are going to split our text so here uh, while creating character text splitter we have given something which is separator so it will basically separate our text via some uh, space right and then uh, we have given 200 chunk size so it will uh, split our document uh, by 200 okay then 200 characters and then also let's say some uh, this has splitted our text uh, in between some uh, text okay so to overlap that actually from left and right we are going to overlap uh, 40 characters into our current uh, text okay so for better answer or better uh, splitting this is required right so that's why we have given 40 uh, character uh, overlap right and also this is the length function so it will uh, we can we can give that how uh, this uh, this will this will calculate the uh, text uh, text length okay so this is uh, how we have given this uh, length, uh, length function right and then after we have our splitted text right so now uh, what we'll do as i mentioned in my last video if you watch that right uh, i will recommend to watch that so we can also uh, store our api key into our environment variable but as as i mentioned right that we have created this secret file and in that we have actually created uh, we have actually assigned our api key which we got from uh, google right uh, for for accessing palm model so we have added that in separate file called secret.py and we are importing that uh, variable here so uh, you can also add that variable into your environment variable and you can just ex import that right so this is how we are importing it right then what we'll do we are going to actually generate embeddings for for our text so uh, we have our text right chunk of text right so now our task is to embed that text into some numeric format so here first we are actually uh, creating an instance of google palm embedding and we are giving our api key okay so this is the thing uh, how you can give your api key so you have to say google api key is equal to your api key okay you can directly also give but for security purpose you have to mention that in some uh, safe place okay and then we have our embedding uh, variable then what we are doing actually we are now creating embeddings so we are giving uh, we are saying fast dot from text uh, text and we have to say which embedding which we go we are going to use so here we are going to use this embedding object right so this is the magic of you, how you can use uh, embeddings uh, easily with LangChain. so that is the purpose why we are using uh, LangChain here so now in this variable we will have our embeddings right so uh, now let me first run this cells okay so let me run this let me run this right so now uh, okay now we are here so now uh, we are here right so now as i mentioned that FIS is a popular library from facebook for performing uh, in memory similarity search so it has a lot of functionality we can also do similarity search on the embeddings which we generated 
so also we can do some semantic search on the embedding so there are lots of use cases of using that and uh, since our document is small we can rely on this library but larger document we can use a vector databases like pinecone and other right so here we have a uh, small document right so that's why we are using this files right but if you need some good interface also your document size is large then i will recommend to use pinecone uh, which is also one of the uh, database uh, vector database right so you can use that as well so here now we will move ahead so it will take this cell will take time because it is now generating the embeddings for our whole document okay document chunks which we have created so it will take some time and then now we are going to create an QA chain where we are going to actually pass our Google Palm model as you can see here that we have imported now we are passing that and here this is the chain type right so there are mainly four types of chain type uh, so here if I'll go uh, in this link chain document then as you can see there are four types of chains okay chain types you can use so here uh, our, our document size is small so we are actually using stuff so it will kind of pass all the documents together into the into the uh, chain okay so if you uh, if you have large amount of document right document uh, text right then uh, you can go for map reduce so it will uh, it will kind of uh, simultaneously create a chain and then it will combine the combine the data and then it will give to the uh, give to the next uh, chain okay so uh, you can go here and you can just uh, watch this document okay then here we have we have our chain ready right so as i mentioned that the process of stop document chain is straightforward it inv involves compiling a list of documents inputting them into a prompt and then submitting that prompt to a llm right so that's why we are using uh, this stuff because we have a uh, small size of document okay uh, but large size i will prefer to use map reduce okay but there will be also some disadvantage that uh, there it will call uh, it will call uh, large, large language model so many times and it will, uh, this stuff it it will only call one time because it will uh, kind of uh, it, it will kind of uh, send documents together and uh, that map reduce will send document in a assignment in a scroll so that's why uh, we are preferring stuff here okay and then now uh, i will also provide this uh, uh, change link into my description okay so now let me run this cell uh, let me run this okay and then now our actual task so now we are ready with uh, our query so now we are going to pass our query and let's see how we can uh, get the result right so let's let me run this cell okay so now what we are asking actually uh, uh, explain who created the document and what is the purpose so now we are actually passing one query so we will see it is giving answer or not so let's let me run the same uh, second cell okay uh, so here we are actually using the similarity search operation on our document so similarity search is it will kind of uh, match the similar vectors from our database and it will uh, it will res is result in the document which is more similar to this text okay so that's why we are using similarity search and uh, let me run the cell and uh, now we have our answer so now uh, now it will generate the embedding okay it will kind of uh, behind the scene it will generate the embeddings it will match a uh, current embedding with the embeddings data which we have right and uh, as you can see that we we are passing embedding uh, embedding documents embedded documents which we had right and also we are passing the query right and uh, then it will find the matching uh, matching embedding from our database and let me run this cell okay so let's run this and as you can see that we got our answer it is saying the document was created by indian space research organization and the purpose of the document is to provide a mission of uh, profile for chandrayaan 1 right so though it is giving uh, chandrayaan 1 in the answer but i think uh, if we will ask some another question let's say uh, when india has created the history right uh, 
let's let's ask this okay so let me copy this and uh, let me paste that here here and uh, let me say uh, when when india has created history so let me run this okay so let's wait for the answer so as you can see that we got 23rd august 2023 which is the correct right so this is the correct answer uh, on which date india has created the successful soft landing of chandrayaan 3 so yeah hooray we have created our uh, large language model uh, qa app uh, using langchain and using google's palm model api key so yeah that's all about that's all about this video i hope you learned something from this video if you did then please do subscribe my channel and uh, i will see you in the next video keep sharing keep loving bye bye